Okay, to play the banjo, to starting out, you do need to, to, to uh, learn the chords, the basic chords that you'll be using to play the banjo. And, of course, you use your left hand to form those chords. Your right hand is who you pick with. You hit the strings, but your left hand, you need to, you need to hold the strings with your left hand. And this will be difficult at first. But uh, to start out with, we'll be playing in G. And a G chord, and the banjo is tuned to an open G. That's a G chord, so you don't need to even use a finger to make a G chord. If, if, if you want to make a G chord, you just strum it, or do the 315. That's in the G chord. Now, in the key of G, which you'd be using the G chord most of the time, you'll also be using... A, a D7 chord. Now you'll need to learn this. And this is the D7 chord. Your index finger up here, here is your the first fret. These little metal things across the banjo neck are called the frets. So you go up here to the first fret and put your index finger on the second string right above the fret. Just like that. And you mash it down until the string hits that hits the fret. It has to be mashed down until it hits the fret. And you'll know when it's clear. Here it, here it is, open. Okay, now the, this middle finger needs to go for this same D7 chord, needs to go to the second fret, third string. So it goes to right there. That's how it sounds open. Now if I put both of them on there. If I strum it, it sounds like that. That's a chord. So you'll need to know that one. You also need to know the C chord. Now this is a little harder because you have to use three fingers. You're still right up there. This index finger goes to the same place on the second string that you did with the D7. Just like that. But this, 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 this finger, instead of going to that one like you did with the D7, it goes up to this fourth string. Right there. Now this third finger comes around and, and, and hits the first string at the second fret. Here's the second fret right there. Just like that. And this is how it would sound. That's a C chord. Here's a G chord. Here's a D7 chord. And here's a C chord.